is Monday. That means it is Mouthy Motivational Monday. Um, <clears throat> you'll notice that I didn't have a video for um, Superhero Sunday. It was just a very challenging weekend, I would say. Um, so that's coming on the other side of this video. It'll be a separate video that I'll upload today as well. Um, I wanted to kind of get both of them done and posted just so I didn't fall out of the routine of doing them. Today's quote that I found, actually, it was purely by chance that I found it. Uh, I wasn't searching for it. It was just something that kind of clicked in my head when I heard it. Um, if you've listened, or listen, if you've watched any of my previous videos, sometimes you'll hear me say that one of the inspirations for me wanting to start being a content creator on YouTube was because of Philip DeFranco. And uh, I watch pretty much every one of his videos I have for like the past three years. Um, I watched them sporadically prior to that, but it's been pretty consistent for the last three years. And it's just, he's somebody that motivates me. And his staff, I, I don't know if I've ever seen anybody pick such great staff to have on their team as he does because literally there's nobody that he picks that is a waste of time. They all have something amazing to contribute. Um, the quote that I want to use today... I don't quite remember what context it was used in. Um, it was on the vlog channel that Phil has, and they were talking about different, I guess, pieces of advice or piece or different type of people, maybe, that they wanted to be around. In any case, um, one of his uh, supervisors, or not his supervisor, but one of the people that he hired as like a supervisor or a managerial type. Uh, her name is Danny Rosenberg. Danny is somebody who, I don't know, you just kind of want to be around. And one of the things that she said in this particular vlog, and I'll try to link it below if I can find it again, um, is... She was, I think she was talking about relationships that she had been in, and she said something to the effect of be with somebody who charges your batteries. For somebody like me, that spoke to me. I've always seemed to surround myself with people who really just drain all of the energy out of me. And it drives me nuts that in the past, I mean, I'm getting better, but in the past, <clears throat> those type of people gravitated to me. And I never really noticed it until I really started looking at the people that were around me and kind of looking at it from an outsider's perspective. And I think it's important, especially nowadays, when we're trying to find a way to connect with each other in a healthy way. I think we need to be around people that are going to energize us and make us feel good. Um, people that are real and, you know, at times when needed will put you in your place, but overall be the people that energize you and make you feel good. Um, they don't need to be, you know, constant ass kissers, 
and people who are just going to be what I've come to know as yes, yes men or yes women, they will always say yes to you, but they're the ones that are motivating and just overall make you want to achieve things and make you want to have them as a part of you. And I think that goes for platonic relationships and romantic relationships. Um, I believe Danny was speaking in terms of romantic relationships, uh, but I believe the sentiment can be interchangeable. Um, and it just, like I said, it spoke to me. And I think that everybody kind of needs to think to themselves what they want out of life. And they need to evaluate who is around them. And as hard as it may be, if people around you are not the type of people that are going to recharge your batteries or keep your batteries charged, you need to not be afraid to basically excommunicate them from your life. It's just that simple. You need to have healthy relationships and you need to not be afraid to push any unhealthy part of your life out. And I really am grateful that I actually ended up watching that video to hear that because like I said, I'm pretty well off with the people that I have in my life right now, but there are still times where I find that, you know, People make their way into my life that end up being those toxic people that drain my batteries. And you don't want to get to the point where your batteries get corroded and no longer work. Because that is when you become somebody who is completely afraid of interacting with anybody. And you don't need corrosive elements in your life. So that is your Mouthy Motivational Monday for the, today. I hope it helps. I hope that you can apply it to your life. And I hope that you can take a look at your life from a third party perspective and see if you can evaluate the people in your life. Are they there to energize your batteries or is their purpose corrosive to your well-being? You know, if you want to, let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had corrosive people in your life. Or, if you want to stay on the positive end of things, talk about the positive people in your life. Talk about the ones that recharge your batteries. I will see you guys soon. Have a great day.